What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Real Big Food Podcast. I can't say it enough. The Real Big Food Podcast. Just in case anybody has a problem with the fact that Big Food has a podcast. <laughs> the Real Big Food Podcast. Welcome. Today is the day that I'm going to be recording a double banger. Yeah, I'm giving you episode three and episode four back to back. Yeah, it's real. I'm giving you episode three. Taking my ride up north. Back to back with episode four. Episode 4, God works in mysterious ways. Pay attention to the signs. Yeah, it's going down. I'm going to start right here with episode 3, taking my ride up north. As you know, I blew trial to a man's sort of conviction. Sentenced to 16 to 32 years. That conviction came about after numerous statements. Numerous statements by my one witness. You got the uh, scene of the crime statement. It changed at the first grand jury. Then when I got uh, charged with the tampering with a witness with the crew, witness went back in front of a second grand jury. The testimony changed again. And then the trial. And that's four different times people had the opportunity to speak. Four different times people chose to speak four different times people had the opportunity to say what they need to say me on the other hand since day one I've never made a statement about it since day one I've never spoken about it so now on YouTube 30 something years later I choose to tell my story and now everybody else want to redo and they want to come and tell another story we not doing that they had more than enough time to say what they had to say. They've had more than enough opportunities <laughs> to say what they want to say. Like, they just keep changing the narrative on the kid, but the kid ain't going for that. So once again, after blowing trial and taking my show on the road up north, I had a 93 number, late 93. By the time 94 came around, I told you I ran in the star. Southport box. I ain't gonna revisit all that bullshit. But we ran into each other in Southport. We talked through the wall. We was back to back selves. If you wanna say we ironed out our differences, so be it. But I was with Star. Just like I spoke to my cousin on Ragged Salad. Now I speak to Star through a wall. Star created a lot of bullshit between me and him after the fact I did what I did. He he allowed the situation to go further. He was angry. He was upset. He had a right to be. But just to say, he allowed the situation to go further. And I responded to that shit because I'm fruit. And if you know fruit, you know what it is. This ain't no cap. This ain't no beating on my chest. This ain't none of that shit. If you know fruit, I was with the shits. It is what it is. But we talked through that door or that sink shit in the box for a couple of months before we separated and uh, he understood what it was. That's 94. By late 95, I hit Green Haven. When I get to Green Haven, a couple of old timers from my hood there Couple cats I was up in Clinton with there, they was waiting for me to come down. But when I get there, they let me know, yo, it's a dude in the building. He's supposed to be the uncle to your victim. Here we go. Alright, I runs down on the nigga. If you know fruit, you know what it is, son. Once again, it ain't no cat. It ain't no beating on my chest. I was with the shits. So I go holler at this nigga. Yo, what's up? What's good? And to my surprise, son, he was like, yo, it ain't no smoke. It is what it is. But so-and-so want to holler at you. 
family want to talk to you. I o o o. Word, no doubt. Gave me phone number. So from that year, for a whole year, nine five to nine six, while I'm in Green Haven, I'm actually in touch with the family. Off the rip, like I told you, son. Off the rip, I was going through it. Off the rip, that shit was killing me. Off the rip, I was so sorry for what I did. I was expressing my remorse and the pain I was going through, son. Like I was wearing a mask in them prison yards. But when I was on that phone with that family, man, I wasn't wearing that mask. I was, I was being open. I was being uh. Uh, uh, transparent I was letting them know what it was So that's the whole What 9-5, nine, 9-6 nine, That's for about a year And then about 9-8 I never forget I was in Sullivan Out the blue I get a piece of mail <laughs> Oh shit My ex-girl Sean's sister, she just touching down from doing a bid. She hit me up nine eight, wish me well, whatever, whatever. Let me know, we still good. That was a beautiful thing, son. That was a beautiful thing. Then in nine eight, the same year in the same jail, I'm there with Dre, Pretty Black. Y'all heard me mention Pretty Black on the last episode. He's the father of my witness's first child. They have a child together. So we in Sullivan together, now eight. And at this time, their daughter got to be a teenager. She just entering the teenage years. We went on a family event out in the festival and shit. This is the shit your boy had to go through, son. Like, I'm expressing to you how you know what I'm saying? How my connection to the family remained. Uh, I never stopped expressing my remorse. You know what I'm saying? So when motherfuckers try to paint me out as the villain, nah, bro. I was never the villain. It was always love for fruit. It was always love for fruit. I don't know what all this new shit is about. It is what it is. But I'm giving you my life story and pay attention to the details. So now, I'm in nine, it's nine, eight, we in Sullivan. We go out on a family event. My cousin come up, bring my little cousin to see me. Shout out my cousin Nikita and my baby girl Nayasa. Yeah, Nayasa, that's Mikey's daughter. Shout out Nayasa, I love you, mama. So boom, they coming up, family event. Dre, like, yo, my daughter coming. I'm like, oh, all right. Go out there and shit. So his daughter, his mom's bring his daughter. So I got to go over there and say what's up to Mama Love. Mama Love watched me grow up. She see me run around in dirty ass pampas. So I got to go pay my respects to Mama Love. So I go pay my respects to Mama Love. Now I got to acknowledge his child. So that's when he step in. He see shit as a little awkward. And he like, yo, he tell her, yo, you know what he said? She, and she was like, yeah. I know who he is. So now I had to have my moment with her child. My witness's child. You know what I'm saying? My girl sister's child. Like, this shit was deep for your boy, son. This was a lot, man. This was a fucking lot. And people who don't know, don't know. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So I had to sit down there on that family event and talk to this young lady. And let her know, like, you know what I'm saying? Who I was, what happened, and how I felt about it. Yeah, son. Yeah. That was back in 9-8 when I met her. And fast forward, man, to like, what, 2016? Drake came home, like, 2016. He had his coming home party. I pulled up. And once again, I was in a room with his daughter. Now she's a grown woman. And once again. She remembers me. She know exactly who I am. No smoke. No beef. It's always been good. You understand what I'm saying? 
because people know my heart. So now I'm going to back the tape up, back to 9-8. And I'm going to stop right here in 9-8 because this double banger, the segments ain't long. The content is just fire. And it is what it is. So I'm going to end this segment right now, right here. Part three is ending. Part three, take my ride up north. Nine, that would give you nine four, nine five, nine six, nine seven, nine eight. We're going to stop at nine eight on here on episode three. We're going to pick up episode four, nine nine and beyond. And the name of this segment in episode four will be God works in mysterious ways. Pay attention to the signs. And on that note, I'm going to end this third segment right now. And y'all stay tuned for episode four.